Hi, I'm Brigitta from ForYourHead.net and Be In My Bonnet. Today I'm going to do a little demonstration on how I finish off my wet felted hats. Uh, in a couple of previous videos I showed how I make a wet felted hat on a block and I've had a request to demonstrate uh, what I do to finish it off. So today I'm going to take off a pork pie hat uh, similar to this one uh, from a block. Uh, we'll trim it up, uh, tidy up the edges, and uh, put a band on it. So uh, if you want to come and join me, let's get started. Okay, so I'm ready to take uh, the hat off the block. Um, see what it looks like inside. So I'm going to take the string off first, pretty easy, and then pull it up over the edges. Take a look, kind of a red color on the inside. Okay, so um, you can see here uh, where I have the rope, there's a little bit of a indentation. It's a little bit hard to see there. Um, it's easier to see on the inside. You can kind of see as I open it up a little bit, there's a little bit of a line. Um, that's where I'm going to be cutting uh, so I can trim up my edges. Um, and I'm going to reposition the camera and do that right now. Okay, so I'm just going to start cutting around the excess uh, trim that I have here. I'm going to start on the smallest edge. I've got quite a bit of extra over here, but I'm going to start right at the uh, narrowest point. Okay, trimmed off the excess. So now I'm going to be getting my uh, paper clips. I'm going to be printing up the edge. Okay, so now I'm just going to use these uh, tiny little uh, pins. And they're just the perfect size for the edge. So I've folded it over there and I'm just going to do this throughout the whole edge I'll adjust it as I go And I'm going to let this sit once I get it all done to impress uh, this kind of fold into the brim before I finish it. So I'm going to take a minute or two. And... Uh, Probably let that sit 
don't know, overnight's good, but uh, see how enthusiastic I get. So when it's done, I'm going to put it back on the form and, uh, like I said, let it sit for a bit. Okay, so I'm just finishing putting the rest of my clips on and then I'm just going to even them out, space them out. Too tight, not crushing the broom, evenly spaced. It's a bit too tight in there. So I suppose you could spritz it with a little bit of uh, water, maybe to uh, enhance the action that these clips are providing but you could just let it sit overnight and here's what it looks like uh, okay so I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit and um, once the crease is set in there then I'll uh, start uh, hemming it up okay So I've let this hat sit overnight with the clips on the edge and now I'm going to come up from the inside. Um, I like to use <coughs> uh, embroidery thread. Uh, here I'm going to use a kind of a complementary color to the inside. Um, so I'm going to be using that. And also uh, just a needle and a pair of scissors. So I'm going to reposition the camera and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so I'm just going <clears> to <throat> take off one of these clips and I've tied a knot in the end as you can see. I'm going to hide that now underneath. So I'm just going under the edge of the brim and I'll tuck that end in. I'm going to make one more little loop. Okay, so now I'm going to go progress around uh, and do the whole uh, brim. I'll show you a, a few strokes, uh, but I won't video the whole thing. It's going to be kind of boring. Try to do them about maybe a centimeter apart and I check just to make sure I haven't gone stitching on the outside So, get the idea. So, 
to do the whole. So I'm coming close to the end of the amount of uh, embroidery thread, so I'm going to need to tie this off and hide the end. So leave myself enough and I'm going to go through the main part of the hat back up to that hole and then I'm going to go backwards oopsie here to the previous if you can see that Went backwards and I'll do that one or two times better. Not really. Okay. And then I can hide that anywhere. Just secure it in a few different times. Will never be seen. I'll just cut that off. Okay, so I only have a little bit more to do. Um, I'll finish that off and then uh, we'll get on to the next step. Okay, so I'm just about at the end of my tidying up the brim edge here. And after we do that, I'm going to be putting on uh, a band around the outside. And that will probably be enough for this hat. Just a couple more here. So we're back where we started. And we'll <coughs> hide this end going backwards over the last few stitches that I did. More. Right. And then we can hide the end. Okay, we're done now, um, tidying up the edge. I'm going to put this back on the block and uh, we're going to work on putting the uh, band around the outside. So I'm going to be using uh, a belt uh, as my trim around the crown. Um, this hat is a uh, 22 and a half, so I usually find uh, secondhand belts, uh, kids, that kind of a thing. So first thing I want to do, I want to check and make a measurement of the distance between where this, uh, I guess you call it a tooth, uh, emerges here to where it goes into a hole. That is a little less than a centimeter. So now I'm going to place it around my hat. So I'm going to avoid 
this tooth just to get the measurement. Okay, so you can see here it's nice and snug. Now I'm going to lift it off and I'm going to hold it together, the belt together. And now back here, I'm going to put a mark on the belt where I need to place a hole. So it's about a little bit less than a centimeter, I said. Okay, so I've placed a mark here. I'm going to check it one more time because I can make a mistake. Yeah, it looks like I did it correctly. So now I'm going to take my handy dandy puncher tool and you can choose what kind of hole you want to punch so you check it against the holes that you currently have and now I'm going to make a hole in it so make sure I get it lined up Get it in the center. Okay, here we go. Might have to do it twice. This one's a bit thick. Okay. Great, so now Thread it through. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so here's my finished hat um, with the belt trim. And the inside. Pretty happy with it. Um, so, just want to say thanks for uh, watching this video and uh, I hope it helps uh, add to your toolkit on how to make and finish a nice felt hat. Thanks again.